right now we know energy supply is a problem not only for schools but for every sector of this country. This investment will reach the voiceless, it will reach the most vulnerable people in our society. I think in terms of socio-economic development, I can class or describe it as it will have an ectopus effect all over the country. When this is in place and they're able to get regular supply of water and electricity, it will greatly help in their studies, teachers as well, it will help the teachers in their planning and basically help eradicate the issue of rural urban migration. By the completion of this project, Gambia will be the first country in Africa who managed to have connected all its public schools and health centers to uh, electricity 24-7 and I think uh, this will be a game changer in the country. The solar suitcase, that is if you put it on then it will also give you light over there but this is not enough. Because in terms of switching, when a woman delivers, there is no light. If you want to switch the premium, you always find it difficult. Sometimes I use my mobile to view the area so that you can see the place properly. It will reduce the infant mortality rate because, and also other, other things like after delivery, sterilization of the equipment will be easy. It's a big sigh of relief to us as a community, as a nation, to have such a project here. Because power generation could be a bit expensive, but if you have solar, I think it's far cheaper than that. So you can't be welcome there.